we are multi-dimensional infinite consciousness having a brief experience called you the focus of attention that uh that the body gives us on a narrow band of frequency and we call it human we call it the world it's just a, a frequency band of information which we're interacting with like wi-fi I, I symbolize it in the answer as a bubble you're in the five sense bubble you put people in the five sense bubble the perceptual bubble and now instead of getting insight from expanded states of awareness you are operating in a bubble of perception and the idea from the couple's point of view is you isolate people in the five senses and then you dictate the information that that isolated uh, consciousness gets so you um, isolate people in the five senses and then you program their perception of reality this is exactly why we live in the world we do and it's exactly why people see the world as they do now how do we burst the bubble we redefine our self-identity. If if you say to most people, who are you? Pleased to meet you, who are you? They'll give you their name, they'll give you where they come from, they'll give you their job, they'll give you their life story, they'll give you their labels. They'll give you um, all the things that we give labels to. I am a man, I am white, I am British. Uh, etc. But they're not who we are. They are what we are experiencing incredibly briefly. And if we can ditch the labels and see them for what they are, a brief experience, and self-identify with the consciousness, ultimately, potentially, all consciousness, having an experience then that very expansion of self-identity i'm not little me anymore i'm not ethel on the checkout or bill at the call center i am a state of infinite awareness having an experience then that expansion of self-identity or triggers an expansion of consciousness so you're no longer confined in forming your perceptions to the bubble anymore but when you say, I am consciousness, having an experience, everything changes. Two things hold us in servitude. Two things keep us there. Woof, woof, yes sir, no sir. Fear of the unknown, stroke, fear of death, and fear of what other people think of us. From that big game, long game point of view, the things that terrify and limit and freeze people in five sense perception don't apply anymore but people freeze because they're they're self-identifying with the, the little eye self-identify with the big eye everything changes and the big eye would never ever subjugate itself to the impositions of other people and the deletion of its freedom wouldn't do that. And I'm certainly never going to do it. Uh, so we'll see where that goes.